Alrighty guys, what is going up? I hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to use Thinkorswim. We're going to be talking about how to use TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim Active Trading Platform. We're going to be talking about how to enroll in the DRIP program or the Dividend Reinvesting Plan uh, that TD Ameritrade has. We're going to be talking about why I use it, some of the perks of having it, how to set things up so you guys can you know use those dividends to make you money and really start using those to like compound on your money. So compounding interest is pretty much just think of it, interest making interest, it's like the best way to think of it, money making money, um, it's very simple. So before we jump into the episode, don't forget about the AirPods giveaway, it's super simple on how you win it. All you guys got to do is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and then like my Facebook page, Carter Farr. Once you guys do that, you guys will be entered, and then you guys can win. Free AirPods. All right, so we're going to be turning to the computer, so roll the intro. Let's go. Bam! Alrighty, guys, so we are up and loaded here on the uh, TD Ameritrade's. Um, this is just kind of like their setup page and how you guys can set up and download the Thinkorswim platform. So we're gonna be talking about how to set this up and how to get those dividends making you uh, money. So this is just, you guys can see your balances. So I have roughly, you know, almost a thousand dollars. I'm up a little over 11 bucks today. Um, so you guys can see kind of like the market snapshot. So you guys can see S&P, Dow Jones, NASDAQ. And then these are just kind of some of like the earnings. You guys can click on dividends. So you guys can see when some dividends roll out. So you guys can see um, I have two accounts here. I have an IRA account that I don't really use anymore. And then I have this used to be my trading account, but now, I'm, now I am with Lightspeed, so I don't use this. So how can you go ahead and look at all the stocks that you have? All you got to do is just go to my account, go to positions, click on that, and you guys will see all the stocks that I currently have. You guys can see the uh, cash that I have, so if I wanted to buy something, I only have like a dollar oh two to purchase something um then these are all the stocks so you guys can see i've been getting slammed by you know a lot of uh companies when the market's falling but i'm continuing to buy as they keep falling so you know i'm still you know averaging my position lower so when the market rebounds like it has every year i will be in profit so now how can you go ahead and reinvest your dividends all you got to do is just search up dividend reinvestment and it will pop up dividend reinvestment plan click on that click the very first little link here once you guys see that i'm already enrolled in it but once this loads up um all you guys got to do is click on the stock and etf dividends we're going to go ahead and just click edit enrollment and then we're going to want to make sure we're enrolled so you guys can see that you can um, kind of choose which stocks that you guys want I'm automatically enrolled in all of them so but if I didn't want to I can pick different stocks that I want to just keep for cash but since I want um, all of them to be enrolled in this drip program that's how you set it up it's very simple so you just got to click Save all right, so now that we kind of understand how to, you know, look at some of the stocks we have, how to set up our dividend reinvestment plan, now let's talk about the TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim trading platform. Alrighty, guys, so we are up and loaded here on the TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform. So you guys can see we're on this little home tab here, and all of this stuff you guys can customize by Xing it out, adding stuff you guys don't like, or whatever. I don't really spend too much time on the home screen here, but I mostly kind of pay attention to these little menu tabs up here. Um, so let's move on to the first one. First one is monitor. So this one's pretty simple, monitoring all the stocks that you currently have positions with. Uh, you guys can see your working orders, your filled orders for the day. So I did take a little trade on ACB. I was trying to film it, but my computer's all messed up. So I hope this video actually comes through here. Um, so you guys can see your canceled orders, your rolling strategies. It's a cool little uh, platform here. You guys can see the quantity of stocks, trade price, mark, uh, mark change, p and open, p and on the day, BP effect. So it's pretty sweet. And my account is okay to trade. Great. Moving on to trade. <laughs> the trade tab here is this one's designed for futures and forex. I don't spend too much time here, but you guys can go ahead and just kind of 
if you guys are forex traders you guys can do do what you guys do i don't really pet, spend too much time uh there this is the analyze tab so if you guys want to add simulated trades or if you guys just want to go ahead and look at a stock so let's pull up apple here and you guys can kind of see what i mean by analyze it so you guys can see they do have all of like the fundamentals down here um you guys can break it down by different years the current um you guys can see the stock trend so you guys can see the trend line got slammed down lately uh hitting highs you know and then getting slammed back down you guys can buy and sell that way as well um so moving on to the scan tab scan tab is one of the most important tabs it's not the most important but it's pretty important so you guys can go ahead and if you guys want to make your own scanner you guys can do that you know you guys can just add whatever you guys want but if you're like dude that's way too much work all you got to do is just go click this little um menu right here whoops this menu right down below right here click load scanner and they do have preset scanners so if that's say you guys wanted the top 10 percent gain on the uh, new york stock exchange click scan boom 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 there you guys go it's as easy as that so now that you guys kind of understand how to find stocks that's a great little uh feature right there so moving to market watch the cool thing about the td ameritrades uh, network or the thinkorswim trading platform is they do integrate with marketwatch.com so you guys can like m watch your stocks on market watch and stay up to date with news because that's really why i use um market watches for their amazing news um and their simulation mostly so moving to charts here charts is the most important tab so we're going to customize one of these and then you guys can go ahead and you know do them if you guys have a larger monitor if you guys want to add more that's completely up to you but we're just going to work on one and then you guys can use that on all of them because they're all the same so let's get rid of them so if you want to add one all you got to do is just click the plus there not the uh little slash through so how to get rid of that click these little three boxes up here click customize grid so now that we got that off let's pull up a stock chart that just pull up the same one that's whoops let's pull up apple apple we all know apple apple is a great company um so you guys see these little tabs right here we're going to start here and then work our way up and around so you guys can see if you guys want live news i think it's a pretty important feature especially for day trading to have some sort of news up and then another thing you guys want is level two so now that we got level two and we got um the news up i feel like we should make this a little cleaner so we can slide that down like that so now we got it down here it looks pretty sharp here now how do we buy and sell you guys all you gotta do is click this active trading platform take this and slide it wherever you guys want i like to kind of keep it like this just so i can still see it still you know uh look at how to you know buy sell um change my positions and whatever so you guys if you guys want time and sales you guys can add that in as well uh for swing trades and dividends i don't really look at time and sales but i do look at um time and sales when i do day trades. so if you guys are trading go ahead and throw that in so moving on up here this is pattern so if you guys want to go ahead and add certain patterns to your uh charts you guys can um go ahead and and select some patterns from this uh some of the, from some of the ones that they do, do have and the cool thing is they'll go ahead and analyze the patterns for you i don't pay attention with that too much so moving to studies so if that's the way you wanted to add like an rsi indicator all you got to do is just click edit go ahead and click rsi double tap it'll slide over here let's customize it with this gear icon here go ahead and we're going to change the color to uh green like that boom click apply and now we got the rsi down here and then the volume came in up on top so now that we kind of know how to add studies drawing tabs so this is like how you guys would draw like support resistance stuff like that so these these two are the most important in my opinion this is a trend line and then this is a horizontal price level so if that's say you wanted to mark out like a resistance up on top all you gotta do is just go ahead and do that so now that we kind of understand how to draw now the style now this i don't really pay attention to um but you guys can go ahead i don't use this to be honest at all um all right so now this is how you change the time frame of the stock chart so the one thing about stocks is um history tends to repeat itself so that's why we like to look at uh, stock charts so what what i like to do especially for swing trades or dividends is i like to kind of customize you know my own 
I like to make it on like maybe two years and then I'll put it to uh, maybe a week. So let's click OK. So you guys can, whoops, I, that was way too, um, not week. We want it on like a day like that. Click OK. Now let's zoom out so you guys can see how it looks. And there we go. So now this, you guys can see some of the trend lines I've drawn. And now it's starting to look like a like a stock chart. So now you guys can go ahead and go to this chart settings. This is where you guys want to change the appearance. If you guys want to show some trades, you guys can do that. But I like to just kind of change the appearance. I like to have it on um, the green filled in and then I like to have the background dark black like that. I think that looks a lot cleaner. It looks, you know, not overwhelming like a lot of stock charts do look. I think it's a cool feature that they do have and the cool thing about over here is if that's you guys say I don't want that just bump it out but if that's you want to add some you know if you guys want to get rid of these all you got to do is just delete them and then you guys can add stuff um, like that so it's a pretty cool and easy feature and then the cool thing about this education tab here is they do teach you how to actually trade and they teach you about stocks mutual funds um, bonds ETFs personal finance it's a great little uh, free course that they do have how how you how, how are you able to sign up is just having an account with them and you guys can get uh, access to all this great um, feature they do have webcast in-person events and a variety of great features uh, TD Ameritrade is an, um, an amazing service so go ahead check them out and for actually day trading I don't use them I use Lightspeed. I think Lightspeed's faster, and they do have great, great stuff. Um, but I do use TD Ameritrade for my dividend portfolio and just some overall long-term uh, investing. So, so that is it, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you guys did, drop a huge subscribe down below. Thank you guys all for watching. You guys are all greatly appreciated. You guys have no idea how much you guys mean to me. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, most likely in another episode. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, guys, and have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, wash your hands, stay inside, don't spread that virus. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, guys. Peace out. Bam!